Microtik EOIP over IP IP tunnel. So this is from our IP IP tunnel video wherein we have two sites. Each has its Microtik and each site has its own subnet. So 192.168.100.0/24 for site 1 and 192.168.200.0/24 for site 2. So each site has a connection to the internet. So 100.100.2 on Ether 1 for site number 1 and 200.200.200.2 for site number 2 on Ether 1 interface. So from here, we built an IP IP tunnel. So on the other side for site number one, the IP IP tunnel interface carry the IP 172.16.1.1. And on the other side, it carries 172.16.1.2. So in this topology, it makes sense to build an IP IP tunnel for the simple reason that we have two different subnets. So with the IP IP tunnel in place, MT site number one, for example, will be able to reach the segment or the subnet 192.168.200.0/24 via the IP IP tunnel. And of course, the other way around is true, wherein site number two subnet will be able to reach the site one subnet 192.168.200.0/24 via the IP IP tunnel. So for this video, EOIP over IP IP tunnel so it assumes that the underlay or the IP IP tunnel is already built and once it's built we will configure our EOP IP tunnel over that IP IP tunnel but if we maintain this topology in our local area network in our sites there's no much reason why we will run EOIP tunnel. So let us slightly modify the topology to make use of EOIP tunnel and to make sense of using it. So this will now be the modified topology to have the reason to make use of an EOIP tunnel. So we have on empty site 1, we have now a connection to Ether 4 which goes to a switch and there is a fictitious server site 1 which carries this IP and over in site number 2 there is also a new connection to the ether4 interface so take note there is no IP address on this interface so this interface is connected to another switch and this switch connects to a client that somehow needs to access this server on site number 1 so do take note the server and the client is on the same subnet 172.31.100.0 slash 29. So for server is that 5, for client is that 6. There will be other use cases of course to configure an EOIP tunnel and this will be one of the simplest reasons why you will configure so. So we are in our site 1 router. So as you notice, our IP tunnel is running and we have an IP address on that tunnel. So we should also take note it's on the PPPoE interface and not on Ether1. But if we take a look at this interface, so if we go to interface PPPoE, it will be under Ether1 interface. So the IP address is set and we have uh, the IP tunnel that is running. So we are here in our site 2 router, so running router OS version 7, the IP tunnel is running, the IP tunnel is with this address 172.16.1.2, we have our local area network for site 2, 192.168.200.0 24 network. Our connection to the internet is actually PPPoE, the same as our site 1 router. So let us just confirm reachability if our IP IP tunnel will be able to help us reach the 172.16.1.1. That will be the other side of the tunnel 172.16.1.1 and 
yes we are able to reach the other side of the ip ip tunnel so this will be the settings when we configure eoip in our microtik for site one so the name will be site dash eoip the ayana address for eoip so this one is zero one the local will be the one seventy two sixteen one dot one so we will not be using the public side but the ip ip tunnel side so you have the remote will be the other side of the ip ip tunnel and the tunnel id will be 12 which should match on the other side of the eo ip tunnel so settings for site number two will be similar the name will be the same just a difference in mac this will be 02 the local will be dot two instead of dot one because that is the ip ip tunnel ip address for this router the remote will be the other side that one and the tunnel id will be 12 and should match the other side of the tunnel but before we configure eoip so let us just show first if the client on site number two will be able to reach this server on site number one so take note there is already a configured ip address 172.3100.6/29 the other side or the server is 172.3100.5/29 take note there is no gateway for these endpoints or for the client and for the server all right let's do a ping so ping 172.31.100.5 that will be the IP address of the server and it's unreachable for our client so we are on our site one router and let's configure EOIP tunnel so EOIP tunnel plus sign so we have the name the MAC address the local address the remote address and the tunnel ID so if there is no error or typho so let's just click apply and click ok to accept the configuration so now we head over to our site 2 microtik so we go to eoip tunnel plus sign and we configure these settings for the name so the mac address will be 2 this time the local address will be dot 2 this time and the remote will be dot one but the tunnel id will still be the same so click apply click ok and you see we have our running flag now on our site eoip or eoip tunnel and from our eoip tunnel video once the eoip tunnel is established we will build a bridge or create a bridge and bridge the eoip tunnel to the physical interface so in this scenario it will be ether 4 so that will be also true on our site 2 we will bridge the ether 4 and the eoip tunnel so we are back in our site 1 router so we go to bridge bridge tab plus sign and the name of the bridge just for simplicity sake will be bridge eoip okay so click apply click ok we will add the ports in so we will add the ether 4 that will be the physical interface plus the tunnel interface so eoip is the tunnel interface name for our eoip tunnel so it will all be added on the bridge eoip click apply click ok and for a little bit fancy so since our bridge configuration for site number two will be practically the same on this bridge so we go to the terminal we go inside the interface bridge menu and we export the configuration that is why you will be able to download the bridge rse file and for that contents we will paste it on our site number two router so to make it fast i copied the configuration or the bridge configuration for our site one router and we'll paste it here in the terminal and see in action what is created so right click paste and as you can see it added a bridge and we have the bridge port so here we will enter to add the site eoip tunnel interface so meaning to say if we go to the ports the ports are also added in 
Now we are back in our client and our server to test reachability and hopefully there are no issues with our EOIP. And let's do another ping so we could up arrow with the same IP address and this time let's hit enter and yes, it's now working. 